Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Hey guys, Nick here from Recentry Healthy Living. I just wanted to do a quick video about um about this book, King. I've uh, mentioned it on Facebook already. King by Elliot Hulse and Chris Barnard from Strength Camp on YouTube. Um, this book has been a really big uh, influencing factor on my change of program that I've mentioned recently. Um, it talks about, uh, the, well, it says it on the front here, the four layer approach to becoming the strongest version of yourself. Um, and it goes through those four layers and it's got um, four different layers as, a, um, as they apply to strength training and conditioning. Um, the first layer, and I've had to uh, really strip everything away and go back to that first layer, is structure. And what they talk about in the book is structure is laying down the foundation, a uh, healthy, strong foundation, so that you can build from that and reach new levels of strength and athletic performance. Um, uh, what, what I noticed when they were talking about it, I haven't actually physically read the book, as you can see it's still in plastic. Um, I've listened to the audiobook uh, while I was cycling to and from work. Um, so, what they talk about is um, going when you're laying that foundation, talking about joints and joint alignment and and their 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 home axis, I suppose you you would call it. So each joint has its um its primary uh, placement. Um, and from there it's got optimal mobility and and strength uh, and what we do when we when we start to train if we're not if we're not focusing on joint alignment um, is you might be you know a lot of people they start out they go into the gym they start throwing the weights around and then maybe they get injured uh, hopefully not eventually they'll they'll come to the idea of doing things with correct form this is the basics so um, doing things you know correct movement patterns, uh, good tempo, those sorts of things. That's the basics. And then what they talk about after that is overloading um, certain movements uh, which overtrain one side of a joint. Uh, so if you take the shoulder uh, as an example, a lot of people do the bench press, um, they do all the press, pressing mo movements, uh, chest flies, etc. Uh, and a big mistake is they focus on the muscles they can see in the mirror, right? So your arms, your chest, your shoulders, and your abs. And what happens over time is, you know, all of these muscles start to tighten up. Your chest tightens up, your the front of your shoulders tighten up, and your abs tighten up. And that's how you see people, over time, they start to roll their shoulders forward, and they start to get this hunch as the abs tighten up, right? Um, and you've got to do all these corrective stretching and corrective exercises to balance the other side of that joint. So doing you know, pulling movements, rowing movements, working on the rear delt, the upper back, or the, the all of the back, um, and a lot of external rotation for the rotator cuff to stabilize the joint in the shoulder. Um, and a lot of that, that's, that's what I've been focusing on a lot lately, is working on the alignment of my joints. And I've got to tell you guys, it's I'm starting to feel really good. <laughs> uh, the results are very slowly starting to come, but they're coming. I can feel, even now in the colder weather, I can feel um, mobility and stability in, in my joints, which I haven't felt for a long time. I don't remember uh, a time when my body has felt this good. Um, I felt good, but um, you know, my body itself and going through movements in, in karate and stuff like that without pain and without restriction and just feeling loose and mobile and agile, I haven't felt like this. For a long time and it's really exciting guys um you've got to get into it uh the you know if you're having um gone through these things like i have um it's it's not hard to fix really you've just got to consciously focus on it my sensei says it um quite often when we're when we're training there you have to consciously focus on your joint integrity going through the movement uh, it can be challenging to keep up that level of concentration when you're going through movements, especially in the gym, every rep, every set, every day. 
um, but I guarantee you guys, if you can if you can maintain that focus and that concentration um, of focusing on the integrity of your joints as you go through the movement, in a in a short amount of time, you'll you'll start to feel niggling pains that you've had for a long time. They start to ease and they start to disappear. When you start to do um, athletic movement, you'll you'll feel more agile, more mobile. Your body is just more cooperative. Um, and it's really exciting guys. It's it's a fantastic feeling um, As I said, I've only been doing this now for about four weeks consciously focusing on correcting the, the joint alignment and um, And I'm, I'm starting to feel the results now uh, If you want to do it, I, I challenge you guys try it for 30 days just 30 days stick to it um, And and you'll start to feel fantastic. I guarantee it, you'll feel great um yeah, so th that was it for me today, guys. I just wanted to 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 give you that little bit of food for thought. Um, how is how is your body structure when you're doing your exercise, when you're doing your training? Are you doing it in such a way where your joints, the individual joints, are balanced and healthy, or are you a little bit more focused on um, one and favoring one and not the other? If so, it's not too late. You can still fix it. Just get on YouTube. Uh, do some research on the internet. There's so many fantastic resources out there. A little bit of corrective stretching, corrective exercises. Bring those joints back into alignment and your body will thank you. You will feel fantastic. Um, King, the book from Elliot Hulse and Chris Barnard. I finished it today. finished the audio book. Um, can't give it enough praise. It's fantastic. I'll leave a link down below if you want to check it out. Um, you can do that. Uh, that's it for me today, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you next time.